Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Brown, and I'm here today to talk for a few moments about one of the frustrations that many job seekers experience, and that is not ever getting a response from the potential employer. So you're looking at people who may be submitting 100, 200, 300 resumes a month, and they never hear anything. So what I'd like to do is act as the applicant screener so that you get a look behind the curtain of what that person's perspective is. Let's say that I have a position. I just have one position and I have 750 applications. Okay, one of the first things I'm going to do is to see which applications meet the baseline criteria, which could include the right type of education, years of relevant experience, and also for this position, a willingness to travel 25 to 35 percent of the time. And so based on those initial baseline criteria, I have already eliminated two-thirds of the pool. The pool started at 750, it is now reduced to 250. Mind you, and unfortunately, those 500 applicants who will not be considered will never hear from me. And therein lies a part of the frustration that many people experience. And the reason that they don't hear from me is because I simply don't have the hours in the day to reach out to that many people because so many people across the country, across disciplines, with varying levels of experience and expertise are looking for work. And so by sheer volume, it would not be possible for me to send courtesy email to say, we appreciate your interest in the company and the position, but unfortunately, your skills and experience are not a fit. We wish you the best going forward. That just in this day and age is impossible. So let's go back to the pool that remains. Of the 750, we now, we're now down to 250. And so with this 250, we have an increasingly higher level of scrutiny. There may be one or two or three rounds of this. And we now get to what I like to call the bonus round which is where the face-to-face -face interviews begin. And so at this point, those people that are remaining in the pool, which has actually been reduced from 250 to 30, will receive communication from the company asking if they would be interested in coming in for a face-to-face -face interview. So let's recap. We started at 750 applicants. Face-to-face -face interviews were extended to 30 people in the pool of 750, which means that we're talking about just 4%. So when you think about applying for work, you have to do it often and often and often. Because just because your skill sets, your experience, your passion may on paper be an exact fit for a particular position, you have to consider that there are other people, potentially millions of other people, who may be looking at the very position that you think is perfect for you, saying that that position is perfect for them. The next time we're going to talk about two critical people that help to make your professional life go a lot better, and that is the mentor and the sponsor. Very quickly, the mentor is a person that guides your professional development, and this relationship is based on a willingness to be open and a willingness to extend trust. And then the sponsor is a person that gets you in the room because you could have all of the qualifications that may be necessary for a position. But if you don't have someone advocating on your behalf, oftentimes they can make, this can make the difference between success, getting that position, and then getting nothing. So stay tuned and we'll look forward to seeing you again. This is Dr. Robert Brown. Continue to be well.